Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how you can download files to your own device. Previously, actually, I used this technique uh, to download files uh, in using web, uh, so web deployments, and it's actually working in web deployments. And the code that I provided in my GitHub repo, it's also working for web deployments, but there were actually users telling me that uh, it is not working for Android and iOS. Uh, and um, there are a couple of videos that I'm using this uh, package. The package that I'm using, uh, you probably already know about that, uh, about the package. It's the package is called Download. It's simply called Download. Uh, this is the package. And it says that I'm using this package because it says that it, it will work for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, web, and Windows. And uh, like I said, that's why I'm using this package. Uh, and uh, the videos that I'm, I was using the package, for example, is this one creating your own PDF file. Uh, and it's actually one of the most viewed uh, one of the most viewed video uh, in my YouTube channel. And there is uh, videos like exporting uh, Firebase collection to CSV files, for example, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, all the tutorials that I have when you have to download a file uh, is actually like I said, it's working for web, uh, but there was issues. Uh, working for other platforms as well. I actually test that uh, code that I'm going to provide it today uh, in Android, but please let me know in the comments if the code is working for iOS as well, because I I am not able to test it in iOS. I don't have an iOS device. I'm not a fan of it. I don't have a device. Uh, so fortunately I cannot test it and I'm not using iOS devices. So yeah. Let me know in the comments, like I said, if the code is actually working for iOS. Uh, and uh, without further ado, uh, let's jump to a working demo. Okay, so let's show you a working demo. Let's first show you a working demo in web. So this is currently in web deployment. It's not a run mode or test mode. Just make sure you run this in web deployment. Uh, and then when I click this button, which is normal, and it will download the file. So if I click this button, you could, you probably don't see it, uh, but it actually says uh, that this file is now downloaded. Uh, and it actually says uh, the name of the file. Uh, you can actually, uh, you don't see it from my, from me exactly, but uh, uh, yeah, I will probably move myself to the next, uh, to the right, uh, so, I can, uh, so I can see it. And if I click again, uh, you should see file is downloaded and then the name of the file and the actual file is downloaded. Uh, and then let's jump to the mobile version. So I'm on my phone now. Those are the files that I previously downloaded. I'm going to delete them so the folder is empty. Then I'm going back to the application. I'm going to download the second button. I'm going to click on the second button. I'm going to update, and this is the file that is being downloaded. And I'm not, I'm going to click on the first button, which is normal. And you can actually see the path to the file is being downloaded. Now I'm going to refresh, and this is the file that is being downloaded. I'm going to uh, open it. This is the content of the first file, and this is the content of the second file. So you can actually see it's working in Android. Okay, so now that I show you how this works in web and Android, and of course this code should work for any other platforms, uh, to be honest. But like I said, I I, ha I don't have iPhone, so I cannot use it. For, I cannot test it for iOS. But let me know in the comments if the code will work for you for iOS. So we have one custom. Uh, action which is download collection as CSV and this is the code that I have which will be available in my github repo uh, and so the first thing is the import of k is web uh, so this is actually telling us if we are running this app inside a web or not so we are actually 
using this k is what this is going to return us a boolean and we are going to use it over here for the first check and then also we are uh, we have this converting the file into uh, into bytes uh, and then we have the download package uh, which of course we are using uh, over here I'm using this download and the version is Sany. Uh, you probably already know that I use this technique and I did a video about it. Uh, and then we have the async, Dart async. If you're wondering if uh, you're using the uh, one of the packages, just command the package and see if you get any errors. If you don't get any errors, you're safe to delete this. Uh, and because I was using some uh, uh, kinds of um, testing, uh, so that's why I was not sure which one is which. So I'm just, that's why I'm just actually uh, just trying uh, what I'm using at the end of the day and what I'm not. So uh, I'll actually move it a little bit so it will be a little bit more cleaner. Uh, it will look a little bit more clean. Uh, and probably this is how it should look at the end of the day. Uh, and I'm not including, if you, in case if you're wondering why I'm not including the foundation, this is because it's already included, this package is already included in the libraries of Flutter. And if you're wondering why I'm not including the path provider, it's because this is actually, this is, uh, actually used by Flutter Flow, so you don't actually need to include it in the right over here in the, in the, you don't need to write it in the uh, pub spec dependencies. Okay, great. And then what we're having, we're actually, in my particular case, uh, I'm actually using a car strict. I created a car strict. This is a data type. It's very simple data type. I created it in car. It's a data type car. And then I have the name of the car and the brand of the car. Uh, but this was just for demo purposes. I just wanted to have some data so I can download. And I have uh, I created uh, an app state called car, and this is a list of cars, and I only have two cars. And this is the car of uh, Niasha, and it's the brand of Kia. And then we have the Benjamin car, and then it is the brand of Tesla. It's only two cars just for testing purposes, like I said. And then I have uh, the argument, which is documents of cars or data types of cars, but I call it like docs. Uh, and then if I don't have any cars and if I don't supply anything, it will be just an empty string. And then this code is actually, I took uh, like uh, uh, apart from the code, I took it from my, my GitHub repo of my downloading CSV file. So that's why this uh, it's called download collection of CSV, but probably it's a better name. It would be download uh, a CSV. It's probably, it's a better or download, uh, download data type a CSV or something like that. Uh, it's a better uh, approach or download uh, to any platform. Uh, yeah, I'll probably name it download to any platform CSV. Uh, so, so you guys know that this code should work for any platforms out there. And then uh, we have, so this code is normal. Like I said, it's coming from uh, the code that uh, I have already uh, explained in this video. Actually, if you haven't watched the video, you can watch it. It's exporting uh, collection to CSV files. Uh, so I am not going to get into details of that because this is the same code, literally. And then we have the, the uh, directory. So uh, my issue was that uh, it was not possible to download this in, for example, in Android because uh, I was actually uh, using, uh, I was not actually using uh, to get the directory. Uh, but now that I use uh, the directory, it actually worked. Uh, so let me actually clean the code a little bit. 
uh, I put a lot of things for debugging purposes, uh, so that's why I wanted to clean the code. So uh, I'm getting the stream, the bytes from this. Uh, I'm converting the bytes act actually to a stream, uh, and then I'm using this stream to download the file. But the the first thing that I'm checking if if I'm running the uh, the application on web. If I'm using um, if I'm running the application of web in web, it's a simple of just wait uh, just write await download stream and then the name of the file. Uh, it was this is the old code. This code is already working, uh, and the only thing that I added is actually the name of the file and the path because I'm actually displaying the name of the file when the file is downloaded, like I showed you in the demo. That's it's coming from over here. And you can actually see the return type is JSON list. And then the second platform is actually is Android. So I'm checking if it's Android, then the app dir, it's actually get external storage directory. If it's iOS, uh, it is get application documents directory. And if it's whatever else it is, if it's not web, if it's not Android, if it's not OS, then it's get downloads directory. Uh, and then this will give us a different app, dears, app directories depending on the platform that you're using. And then if, if, if uh, again, if we're using web, the code will stop here. Uh, it will not continue. Uh, just uh, I, I want just make sure because we have a return over here and the code will not continue to these parts. But if it's Android, for example, it will continue to here. It will get the app directory and then uh, it will actually put it in the path. It will put that path of the directory, the app directory, and it will have this path name. And then you have the destination path. So the destination path is actually we are going to get it from this function, which is get destination path name. And we are providing the file name, the path name, and if it's uh, if you're running this on Windows or not. So if you're running this on Windows, now we actually have to uh, get the slashes from left to right, uh, and the other uh, way is from left uh, from right to left. So we have to change that if we're running on Windows. So that's why we have to make sure uh, that we are um, running on Windows or not. Uh, and then this will actually give us the path to the file together with the name of the file. But if we are going to check if in the path there's, there's already a file with the same name, if, it, if it's already a file with the same name, we actually put like one, for example, then the name of the file. And if it's uh, 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 one, it's already exists, it will be two in the name of the file and so on and so forth. This is actually the idea. And then the last thing is actually the same code as you can see it over here. It will actually download the file and it will put it in the uh, destination path. Uh, it, if you have it like that for Android, it will not work because you need to have the full path uh, where this file will be stored. Uh, and in my case, it is actually stored uh, and uh, you can actually see the path and you actually probably saw the path uh, in the demo. It's uh, in the path is in storage emulated to zero Android data, my package name, which is uh, called that uh, my company that uh, center in my case, and it's inside files. This is where the files are going to be downloaded uh, in my particular case. And then we have this return, and again, we're returning the name of the file and the destination path, the folder, the folder, the whole folder path that this file will be downloaded. Great. So this is the code. And then if we go back to the page, I have only one page, and this is the button that we're going to talk about. And the button is actually have, um, it's using the custom action. And it's using the data type. So the data type is coming from the app state. Again, I showed you uh, how the app state looks like. And then I'm returning the values. That's why I have this file output 
action output variable name. I have file and I'm outputting actually, and I'm showing show uh, stack bar. And I have this message file is downloaded and then I'm uh, returning the file path. Uh, and I'm actually using a JSON for that. So the first, and I'm using it with item at index. So the first, uh, the first index will be my name of the file and the last index will be my, uh, my path to the file. So that's why I'm using my last index uh, and then it's uh, JSON path uh, and it's actually file path. And it's actually in this particular case, uh, it's actually, um, this is how, this is how it should work. Uh, and then the, the, and then this will return, like I said, the file path. Great. So this is how it works. Uh, this is the code that it should work for downloading files inside your device uh, in any platform out there. So like I said, let me know if it works for you. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know as well. And before you go, I just want to let you know that I set up a Discord channel, which will be for my 3,000 subscribers. Uh, so thank you very much for everyone who subscribed to the channel. The Discord channel will be officially announced when I reach the 3,000 subscribers. Uh, it is uh, well structured. It will be well structured uh, with the uh, general tab. Uh, which you can see the info, the news, and we have also click to talk. So you can actually talk to other members of the channel. And we have the YouTube videos as well, where you can see all the YouTube videos. You can also have, if you want to, uh, uh, if, if you want to request a video, you can go to uh, video requests. And then we have the paid members from YouTube, uh, which they have a separate channel where they can talk. I also have from the mentoring sessions, we have the paid uh, members. And then it's structured by backend for the flow API calls, Superbase uh, SQLite. And then you have the design where you can ask design questions. We have the custom code, uh, which is uh, uh, code uh, expressions, uh, custom functions, uh, custom widgets, custom actions, and for the flow source code, we can uh, talk about the flow, flow source code as well. And we have integrations as well, uh, pub dev uh, packages, platforms, if you want to integrate different platforms, we have the general integrations. And then we have, you don't see it from my face, but we have also the settings. We have the dynamic links, we have the push notifications, we have the app settings, we have the Android deployment, we have the iOS deployment, and we have the web deployment. And the last thing that we have is actually we have the languages and we have uh, other languages. So we have like uh, Swedish, for example, Spanish, Portuguese, you know, other languages that, that people from those countries or those languages can talk uh, in their own language. Uh, so yeah, like I said, thank you very much for all the subscribers. Uh, and uh, before you go, I just want to say that the paid membership for YouTube is now open. So you can be a paid member to my YouTube channel, which means a lot. And thank you very much for all the people who are right now paid members to the channel.